Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Todd. This is Todd. For today's video, I've decided to do chicken and rice. For this recipe, you're going to need two cans of cream of chicken soup, rotisserie chicken seasoning, one medium onion, about three ribs of celery, about one to two medium onions. You're going to need two cloves of garlic. You're going to need about one cup of frozen peas. You do not have to use this. You can omit this. You're going to need one cup of basmati rice, or you can use instant rice and skip the par cooking part of this recipe. Um, you're also going to need uh, cheddar cheese. This is extra sharp. You do not have to use this. You can use regular mild or sharp cheese. You're also going to need two uh, chicken breasts. These have been smoked in a smoker for about two hours at 200, so that's going to part a lot of flavor into this dish. You're also going to need some heavy cream, and I believe that's about everything you're going to need for this one. So you're going to want to start by uh, chopping up your onion and celery and carrot, and you're going to want to saute that for a couple minutes. I will go ahead and bring you back once I am getting ready to saute the vegetables. Okay, so now I have my um, celery and onions diced up. You're also going to want to go ahead and peel your carrot. And how you're going to want to cut this is you're going to want to cut it lengthwise like this. Then you're going to want to turn those into matchsticks and you're going to want to dice those up. Um, after that is done, or while you're doing that, you can go ahead and um, get about four tablespoons of butter. And what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to saute your celery and onions for about two minutes. Then you're going to want to go ahead and add in your carrot, saute for another two minutes. Then you're going to want to go ahead and crush in your garlic at that point and go ahead and saute that for about another minute or two. Um, also at this point, you can go ahead and start simmering your rice if you do not have the instant minute rice. And you're going to want to use half the water and you're going to want to cook it for half the time on the package. Also at this time, you are going to want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So that is getting warmed up while you are preparing everything else. Okay, so now you're going to want to go ahead and add in your four tablespoons of butter to your skillet and let that melt down. And after that's melted down, you're going to want to go ahead and add in your celery and onions. Okay, so now my vegetables have been sautéing now for about five minutes. Okay, so my vegetables have been sautéing now for about five minutes. And you'll want to go ahead and add in your diced carrots. And you're going to want to have your carrots about a quarter inch and you're going to want to go ahead and add this in. Also at this point you're going to want to go ahead and add in your herbs, salt, and pepper. And you're going to want to go ahead and give this a really nice mix. And on the back here, I have my par-cooked rice, and I went ahead and put that through a mesh strainer to go ahead and get any excess water out, and then I went ahead and cooled it off with some cold water for a couple of minutes to stop the cooking. And you're going to want to go ahead and let this mixture uh, cook for about another two to five minutes. And after that, you're going to want to go ahead and add in your chicken. And while that's sautéing there, you can go ahead and start dicing up your um, chicken. If you're not going to use cooked chicken, you can go ahead and just uh, add the chicken in with the sautéing vegetables to cook that. Okay, so I am now happy with how this is looking. So... Now that this has been cooking for a little bit, 
you're going to want to go ahead and add in an ingredient I forgot to mention, which is some um, white wine vinegar. Or you can just use some regular white wine, just a little bit, just for some acidity, and to deglaze the bottom of the pan. Now you're going to want to add about one cup of heavy whipping cream. And you're going to want to put the heat down fairly low so you don't scald this. And you're also at this point going to want to go ahead and cut your cheese into about quarter inch thick slices and you're going to want to dice this. Alternatively you can use a cheese grater but I do not want to dirty a cheese grater so I'm just going to do it this way. Once you add the cheese in you'll want to stir very well to incorporate the cheese and also as an optional ingredient you do not need to use it is uh, some sodium citrate which will help the fats in the cream and cheese to bond with the water just making it a creamier uh, sauce which I am not really worried about that today so I will not be adding that in but uh, I will go ahead and bring you back when I get ready to add the rest of the ingredients that I'm going to add. Okay, so now that this has been simmering for about a minute, you're going to want to go ahead and add in your cream of chicken soup. And now you're going to want to mix this really well. And this is where a flat wire whisk really comes in handy. Now at this point you can go ahead and add in your cheese and after you add this you're going to kind of want to stir quite a, quite a bit because you do not want the cheese to separate. It might take about five minutes or so of constant stirring but it will be worth it in the end. I will go ahead and bring you back once this part is done. Okay, so now the cheese is has melted in and it is nice and creamy. Um, I should also mention, while this was not recording, I did end up adding about another quarter to half cup of heavy cream because it was just a little too thick for my liking. So now at this point, you're going to want to go ahead, add in your frozen peas. You're also going to want to put a couple little dashes of your rotisserie, rotisserie seasoning. And you're also going to want to go ahead and add in your chicken. And now you're going to want to go ahead and give this a really good mix.
Okay, I am happy with that at this point. Now, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to go ahead and add in your rice. Just go ahead and dump it in. And then you're going to want to go ahead and mix this again. Okay, so now that this is mixed, you're going to want to just let this warm up a little bit. Come back up to a light simmer on about a medium low. You're want to, going to want to go ahead and let this sit here for about five minutes. Um, stirring it about once or twice during that five minutes. And then at that point, you're going to want to go ahead and transfer this into the oven. If your dish is not oven safe, you can go ahead and put it in a 9 by 13 cake pan. I'm not quite sure if that will fit because I've never put this recipe in one. I've always just used this pot that I have. Um, so you might need two of those. I'm not sure. Um, so you'll want to go ahead and put that in your preheated oven. That should be set to 350 degrees. And you're going to want to bake this for about 30 to 35 minutes. And I will go ahead and bring you back once that is finished. Okay, so this has been in the oven now for about half an hour. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and mix this up again to get the uh, skin that's formed on top mixed in. Okay, so now that that is mixed, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and just taste the rice. And if it's still a little hard at this point, you can go ahead and cover the top with some aluminum foil. And you'll want to go ahead and do, uh, go ahead and cook this for another 15 to 20 minutes covered at 350. And you're also going to want to let this sit for about 30 minutes after it comes out of the oven to cool off and thicken up um, as you don't really want it to be soupy. Uh, it should thicken up naturally uh, after it's cooled off a little bit and at that point it should be ready to serve and I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope you continue to join me on this journey of mine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell so you'll be notified when I upload another video. Thanks for watching.